G'day, everyone. How are we, Daniel? Very good, Paul. How are you? Doing well. My my battery pack just dropped out, so pardon me for one moment. <laughs> uh, it's good to be here with everyone. Monday afternoon, accountability call time. Uh, we've got some people joining in. So right. good day. How are we all? Hey, mate. How you doing? Hey, Joel. Great to see you. Thanks to you, mate. Joel, good to see you. Hey. Hey, you been? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Busy, but good. <coughs> good. I'm glad to hear. Thanks for uh, taking the time and joining. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, it, was, it was busy. The promo has come to an end, which was good. Um, so it died down a bit, but... Yeah, it was a little bit more relaxing than last weekend with kids' birthdays and everything. Oh goodness! Uh, was it was it your uh, what, your eldest or your youngest? Uh, younger. She turned five. At what what was the date? Uh, well, she twenty seventh. Not there. Twenty seventh of um January. So oh, we okay. had the party cool. last weekend before school. Very nice. I had my my daughter's birthday on the weekend as well. It's full on. I think there was like 20 kids running around my house. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's hectic. It's definitely hectic. Um, so really like the purpose of these calls is to just check in. Um, love to like look back on how the week was last week and also set the intention for this week. And, you know, what are the small steps that we can all do uh, starting now, starting today to just move the needle forward in terms of your nutrition, training and of course scheduling is so important there morning routine evening routine so paulie you know i know you speak to a lot of clients uh, each monday what's been uh, the experience so far and anything you want to share about your experience yeah look uh, i think it's a really pointy in time to bring up uh, exactly what Joel was discussing just then it's been a hectic week for Joel i know that uh, because he's had busy work life busy personal life with uh, with his family. And I, to be honest, I'm no different. I obviously was uh, putting together a, uh, a birthday party uh, for my child. I've got my sister's wedding coming up on Friday this week. There's, it's mayhem right now. Um, I'm jumping between my in-laws and my parents. And the reason I bring all of this up is, is because I had a really interesting conversation with another hero today. And, you know, the conversation was a surrounded, maybe we should just pause this because life is just too hectic right now. And I suppose the question I, I offered back um, was, you know, life is, is always going to be hectic. What, what if you would, what, what if you were able to accomplish something? Hey, Matt, how are you, mate? What if you were to able to accomplish something that you didn't think was possible in amidst this chaos and all this craziness? And then once you pull yourself away from all of this chaos, you come into a, a moment in life where things are a little bit more ordered, how much easier is it going to be to follow through on that? And that's, to me, integrity, to be able to follow through with what you set, even though your environment is set up to, to be extra challenging. Yeah, no doubt. Well, first and foremost, moving on, Maddie, how are you? Hello, guys. How are you going? Yeah, really good, good to see you, Maddie. Maddie, Joel. Joel, Maddie. Good <laughs> Uh, just jumped off another Zoom call and I thought I'll I'll jump on this one while I can and I'm just having my vegetables, you know. Good man. Um, is this a live on Facebook as well? Sure is. We get, we're we're taking care of all tech aspects. Hey Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just eating my my broccoli and beef. Thanks it's to the hero team. Inspirational, Matt. We love that. <laughs> Um, so Matt, we, we just brought up, I was just bringing up a conversation I've had with a client recently about challenges that come up in, in life, being a busy dad and the temptation to, to pause your individual pursuits because of the craziness that's going on in your life. And, uh, you know, I've just found in my own personal experience, being able to work through that 
whilst you're in the thick of it can be such an empowering experience because when things settle down then you've proven to yourself that you can do it when times are at it their most hectic so if you're able to do it at that level then everything else should be effortless in comparison yes do you want me to comment about that if you would like to i'd love to um um <clears throat> so uh, I'll, I'll i'll reflect on some of the stuff i was saying that we were saying on our last call right so so mm -hmm. i so usually we i have calls with you every friday right so that's right. sort of the way the hero program works is we get to talk to our coach every week so um and exactly what you're saying is like I, I, how would i describe it every week's different right depending because of all the demands of being of fatherhood and just general life of being a middle-aged dude you know um and i either kill it through the week and get to friday winning or there are other weeks where i literally crawl i'm like crawling just you know fingernails in the dust just needing my coach just to say it's okay <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah and i'll be like literally in tears going i've screwed up this week i've had bread i've missed my workouts i'm tired i just can't do it anymore you know <laughs> and so um so i suppose the um you're absolutely right so the i think what you're saying is that to design the schedule or your life around uh, doing your best to hit your sessions and, and to plan your meals and to and to keep yourself uh, consistent on a daily basis is that is is one of the biggest challenges of 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 fatherhood and fitness. Um, but one thing I've learned is that I, I not not to try and be perfect either, mm -hmm. and that it's really about the atomic habits. You know, it's like. Um, it's it's basically it's what I do every day for the rest of my life versus what I do for twelve weeks that counts. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, no, that's that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for your for your insight, Matt. Uh, uh, Dan, anything to? Yeah, I mean that was super powerful and, and so bloody relatable. And I think that's what's so powerful about having a calls like this and having a group because everything you just said, Matt, is just so universal. And I think we can all pretty much connect with that. So um, I think being vulnerable and willing to share uh, breakdowns is really the way to really break through. And so um, I think announcing it and naming it and sharing it live, it gives also you inspiration and, and of course, me inspiration to say, okay, like it's, it's one moment at a time, one day at a time. You break down one day, it doesn't mean the next day is going to be you know, broken. You break down one week, it doesn't mean the next week is going to look worse either. So it's just like, what can you do moment to moment? And um, I had an experience on Saturday night. I went out to a beautiful restaurant. It was like shared dinner so lots of different platters being uh, moved around and naturally within my dynamic and group of friends people are often subtly or and sometimes overtly like watching what i eat and because <laughs> you're the hero guy right <laughs> and, and i i it's just kind of bowled into that and um and one of my friends who's a, a real high performing man and dad and he was just he was watching me and it was dessert and he's like <laughs> And he was just like, wow, that you're so disciplined. Like, you know, I've just been keeping my eye on how you navigated this dessert. And he goes, I just don't have that discipline. And it was so amazing to just look at a few aspects of that. Firstly, I just said like discipline, um, you know, how it is for me, it looks different for you. So it was good to acknowledge that, you know, it doesn't mean that discipline is, um, you know, relatable to every single experience. Some people are more disciplined in some ways than others. So everyone's got their own strengths and, of course, their own challenges. And that's why coaching and accountability is so important. And then I just bring, brought up the topic of, I'll, I'll use discipline, but I also like to use commitment, that commitment is freedom. Discipline is freedom. And when you dial things in with your schedule and your nutrition and your training and you're just so consistent, like there is such great freedom and flexibility in that because you know that even if you have a big night, you know what next, the next day is going to look like because you've made that commitment and you've become disciplined enough to 
get up at 6 a.m., which is kind of like what I did. We were all laughing. It was 11.30 and everyone was like, what are you going to do at you know, 6 a.m. tomorrow? And everyone was like, you know, laughing, like looking at the clock, throwing the clock, looking the other way, hitting snooze, whatever it is. And it was just like, I'm, I'm just getting up. Like, that's just what I do. It just doesn't matter. Whether I, you know, whether I do or don't do that, it's just like it's built into the system that, you know, that's my commitment. Um, and like, meaning even if I don't do it, it's not the end of the world. But of course, I was able to do it, which was great. That's also because I wasn't getting absolutely hammered, um, <laughs> which was another part of the night that people were kind of interested in. Do you drink? How much do you drink? When do you drink? What do you drink? Um, and and I, I like to refer to this when I'm speaking to people, um, the aspect of being a role model and example to your family and friends, it to me is more inspiring than participating in debauchery <laughs> um, because people are really wanting that. They want to know how to be disciplined and to take care of themselves and not be swayed by social life um what other people are doing what other people think there's such a groundedness and rootedness when we're just stepping into our power and just who cares what anyone else thinks and feels and that's more exciting and attractive for me I mean that's always who I'm excited and attracted by when I'm talking to people in the field and in the industry who are just like so committed and I'm sure you guys in your professional lives probably have people that you admire who are just you know, so at the at the top of their at their field, mm. so it's like naturally you want to just be around them and learn from them. I'd love to hear if that's anyone else's experience, mm. you know, pers- personally, professionally, and in other ways too. But it'd be great to hear from people. Yeah, um, happy to yeah. share. Joel, do you want to share yeah. too? For sure. But um, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's more. Um, it's there is. There are people in my, in, the, in in my industry which I definitely do look up to. Um, it's more it's in my in my industry, which is the coaching, training, and development industry. It's more just those that show up as authentic that I look up to that are being the real deal, mm. versus just another marketing genius or you know just doing what's good on stage. Um, but based on what you're saying, Dan, it's uh, I, I think it's something I say to Paul every single conversation is the reason I hire you is because I, I'm just I'm just like. A, you make me believe in myself, and B, I'm I'm always reaching to meet your standards, you know, because <laughs> it's like you know, it's like try let's, let's let's try and be more like Paul and Dan, and and that's what helps, you know. It's like that you set the you set the standard, and you I know you uphold it, um, and it's almost like something that's uh, the structure that's really empowering about this is is this kind of style of coaching is that it's not you've been told what to do, it's 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 trying to um, you know, model model off your standards. So that's what's really empowering. Mm. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you, Matt. That's uh, that's that's great. Uh, Joel, do you have any uh, people that you hold in high regard in either a personal or a professional life that you kind of use as a filter for operating on a daily basis, or? I'm, I'm a bit of a mixture of both. Like you know, Dad's definitely important to me you know being a foster carer you know not having children and now having children you know that person that I want to be like my father basically very devoted to the children mm-hmm. um but in regards to professional life you know again very m- much back to what Matt was saying you know it, it's about the people that are willing to help me that are genuine which means I'm giving back that you know genuine commitment to them and we're, we're working together as a team to one develop ourselves um very much to what Matt was saying as well, like with you guys, there was things that I weren't wasn't able to do. Like I I struggled with my diet, as you knew, and I struggled with the exercises and I had issues constantly occurring. Like I was either too busy for work or I, I hurt myself and I ended up having to get stitches. And but every time that I got on the phone with you guys, it was a very similar situation. Like when I did have a bit of a bad day, you guys knew how to encourage me to get back to where I needed to be to, to ensure that I was there. So that there within itself is inspirational enough for me because that's allowed me to be the better person I am, not only for my kids, my husband, but also for my clients, because now I'm not that tired guy because I was having sleeping issues or whatever. So if anything, it's that as well. So 
So it's a, to me, it's a mixture of everything in life. Like, you know, whoever's helping and whoever's helping me learn and whoever's helping me get to where I need to be as to be the better person I can be. That's, uh, that's great. And thank you for, for the words. Uh, that's amazing, Joel. And, you know, something that has come, come to me clearly from all of you guys talking um, of just about creating structure around what it is that we're trying to achieve here is if you are not making your, your own mind up, somebody else or something else is going to make your mind up for you. And that's why structure is such a powerful, to, to me, structure is such an empowering thing because we live in, in a world full of so much stimulus and so many uh, things that can steal our attention uh, and without us knowing it either. So a pre-planned understanding of how we're going to best serve ourselves in a moment, in a week, or even in a month uh, can really, really, without being attached to it actually being executed perfectly. And that's also a really challenging aspect of it, I find, is I've, I've gone through challenges of, you know, knowing to how to plan something, but if it doesn't turn out the way I anticipated, how do we deal with that? Uh, and that's also just a, a separate issue to be able to be okay with that and just start again the next day. But the, the, the starting point is being able to understand and know that you have a plan and no one else or nothing else is going to get in that way. And even yourself. Even yourself. You mean like us? <laughs> <laughs> all those other guys on the call <laughs> that's it <laughs> all right yes um it's so interesting i mean that's the, we're basically having an accountability what is accountability discussion that's really what we're talking about isn't it right so um and that's what i think that and i'm not blowing the hero program's horn too much because it is a great program just just so you know everybody who's watching this um but um that's really what i I've had it depends on your version of accountability I feel I've had you know just a lot of like different personal trainers or whatever in the past and, and they definitely bring a level of accountability but sometimes the accountability can come down as like a judgment like a why didn't you do this and how come you only did one session last week and and uh you know um what's going on with your diet where's your photos you know it's going to sort of lands as like this sort of judgment um whereas Sometimes I feel what we need, what especially dads need is more of a supportive structure to go, all right, what got in the way of you saying, doing what you said you were going to do, right? And tell me, that's the design. Look at your own environment in your own life and look at how we can remove those barriers, including your own barriers like self-doubt <laughs> or, you know, Chinese New Year that's coming up, Paul. Mm -hmm. Friday mm -hmm. and my wife's Chinese background so that's why <laughs> there's going to be plenty of dumplings around right <laughs> um, so you know to be able to like you know the accountability about it have, have, uh, one, one thing that Paul will often say is all right let's make a plan about how we're going to manage Chinese New Year and then we'll, we'll review it the following weeks so it's more of a supportive structure which allows you to bring accountability to yourself versus being told or judged about why you did or didn't do something like a militant style, you know, which I, I don't think it works for most people that are under pressure already in life in general, you know? Hmm. I, don't know. I mean, that was the same with me. Like, I think there was times with Paul, like, like I wasn't able to do things and I just said, look, there's too much pressure on my plate at the moment. So, you know, we readjust my goals to suit what I needed to do. Yeah. That helped me get through, that week or those two weeks that I was having those moments and then we readjusted again to get me back to where I needed to be there so as long as you're accountable to it but you can be open about your accountabilities and say yeah I'm not doing so well but this is how I need help then mm -hmm. your accountabilities get met either way moving forward like an open dialogue is always the best thing about it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah beautifully said and and it's just testament to everybody's hero's journey is uh, is individual you know everybody has their own challenges 
everybody has um, their, their own, uh, you know, goals throughout the week. And that will look very, very different from week to week. And, you know, for example, you know, I know with Joel, you historically, we've known that uh, Wednesday is your day of self-love, self-care. And that can be a time for you to really, really give to yourself and nourish yourself and have that more feminine kind of yin style uh, giving to yourself. And because I, I know it's go, go, go for a lot of the, the rest of the week. So we really batch that that giving aspect on a Wednesday. And I think that's just a, a beautiful thing. And things, people can look very differently. You know, somebody else may uh, do that in short doses every day because that yeah. might suit somebody else's personality or somebody else's schedule. Yeah, and that's what I was, guess I was getting back with you, Paul. Like, once you got to know me a bit more over the program, you got to hear my work schedule and you went, okay, clearly Friday to Tuesday is just a go day for you. What do you need? And I just said, on a Wednesday, I just need to chill. I just need a me day. And, and that's when, you know, we incorporated that into the program. But if I didn't say that, you would have put pressure on me. And again, I would have not been accountable to you because I would have gone, well, you're putting too much on me, you know? So by being open about it, we were able to, navigate what I need. So on a Wednesdays, I have my chill day, my, my relaxing day. And then I kick back into gear with all my exercising and everything on the first day through to Tuesdays, basically. Fantastic. How's the dancing going, by the way, Joe? Uh, good. I've uh, increased from, I think, around five hours now to around about 15 hours of dancing per week. So good on you. On. That's um, it started to help uh, teach the little ones a little bit more about ballroom as well. Um, so, yeah, it's been it's been good. That's unbelievable. Uh, really good. Yeah, thank you guys. I mean, I, I want to just wrap it up by um, first of saying both to to you, Joel and Matt, thanks for sharing your experiences so uh, richly. Uh, I think this is going to support lots and lots of people. Um, so great to hear from you, and, and I think. Um, just to like bring it and tie it all together, like at the underlying root of everything is role modeling a healthy lifestyle for our kids. And it's like prioritizing ourselves is so essential, but and just being able to do it so you can give to your kid, to give to your kids, uh, to be able to squat and pick up the kids when they need to be held. Uh, I mean, that, that's what this is all about. I, I took Lula, my two and a half year old, for a hike the other day. And basically, if I wasn't in reasonable good, reasonably good shape, I wouldn't have been able to do Tall, it. Tall, That was impressive. She was, uh, she was about 14 or 15 kilos, and we walked for an hour, um, you, know, you know, on different terrains and up and downhill and on sand that was kind of sinking. And it was, it was pretty wild. And I was just like, I'm so grateful that I take care so I can give this experience to her mm. and, and at the same time with Sailor who's six months like even just like squatting down to get her out of the bath which is not an easy move um, there's a lot of bending over and getting down low it's like the strength is there the mobility and flexibility is there because I'm training it up because I want to do it I don't want to pull my back out um, I don't want to struggle and feel out of breath going down to pick her up so it's like we're doing it for those reasons and we benefit in so many other ways too. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it, whilst the, the how we are able to achieve self-growth can vary from person to person, I feel like there's a commonality between all of us as dads. And that's exactly what you, you noted there, Dan. It's being able to be a, a powerful example to our children, being able to give to our entire family. And, you know, Dan and I have now been able to uh, be there to guide enough fathers and hear enough fathers um, uh, potential uh, um, pain at the beginning of the process and see them work through their own solutions to understand that there is a very strong commonality between all of us. And that's exactly the power of this group to be able to understand um, our common goals and to be able to work as a team to be able to achieve them. And that's why Hero Tribe is so powerful. Um, and thank you for, for being here to be able to voice your own journeys because I know as a fact 
that your own journeys are, are going to help and assist somebody watching this right now or in the future? Thanks, guys. No problem. Pleasure. Uh, a great week, everyone. Uh, we'll be doing this again next week and every week we'll keep showing up. Um, Absolutely. And forward to, uh, to connecting, you know, every day through Hero Tribe in, and in other ways. Have a great start to the week, everyone. No Thanks, so much, Thanks, guys. Bye, everyone. Have a great week.